Folks, it is new Lego day. That's the Lego store. It opens in about 10 minutes time and there's currently no queue. I'm gonna go make the queue and fingers crossed because there's no queue currently, should get the set that I'm here looking for. The Batman Gotham City art set is out today. The Dungeons and Dragons set is out today. There's some new gifts we've purchased. I cannot wait to get in there and have a little rummage. Here we go. So let's have a little peek through the window to see what's what. There's nothing new on the window displays, but we have got the new gifts we've purchased mentioned. So that's the the retro food truck, which was a gift we purchased earlier in the year. It's now back, but only if you buy a modular. So I don't think I'll be getting that today because I'm not rebuying those modulars. But that is the gift of purchase that comes with the new Dungeons and Dragons set. And that is the one for spending 135 pounds or more. I think all three of them are this week only. So I am, uh, I am ready. So the rush to get in and get these was absolute madness. Um, I've already seen that D&D &D set be restocked like four or five times. They sold a load of them straight off the back early on and then a little bit further down here. So most of it's the same stuff we had before. But the Batman set. So we're three deep on there at the moment. There's a few more of each behind the counter as well. But the guy did say that uh, they didn't get very many in. So it was probably worth getting here early. I'm just trying to see if we've got them assembled anywhere. So there's the D&D &D set in all its glory, which does look very, very cool. I like dragons and castles, so I am a happy little chappy. And of course, it comes with the free gift on there as well. There are also some new Mario sets today. I am not fully up on the Mario range, so I don't know which ones are new, but I assume it's these ones that are already being taken off the shelves this morning, because I guess people are mainly in here for the new releases today. So there is my group that I want to sit on my vest, but I think I ordered him on sale somewhere else the other day, so we're not gonna get him today. And then these are the other two new sets today, Green Goblin and Spider-Man. I don't really like these construction figures, so although they're IPs I would normally be interested in, I think I can give them a miss today. No new Star Wars today, because obviously that's all being saved for May the 4th next month. And then we're into Ninjago and we'll just kind of have a quick look to see if there's anything new on the pick a brick wall. We're just really looking for anything that I can use for making mills plates or ballasting my train tracks because otherwise my order for that kind of stuff is going to cost me a fortune. Those green bricks might be quite handy. In fact, they've got quite a few, quite a few uh, two by four bricks that could be quite handy. I'm looking for tiles really but they don't seem to have, I mean, any two by two tiles would be handy for the, where the trains are going around their corners because they're not going to clip onto the plates properly. So it doesn't look like they have anything like that, unfortunately. I don't think there's anything new in Lego City, he says, immediately seeing something new. So we've got the Space Science Lab is new today. That's quite cool, actually. I don't know that my city has room for space, but it is quite a cool set. And then coming around into Dreams and Harry Potter, Jurassic Park. I'm 90% sure there's nothing new in these areas. There's a new Lego Friends space set. So a few space bits out today. Again, quite a cool set, but I don't really like the mini dolls. If it had mini figs, I'd be more interested in. They're really pushing the space so far. I know there's a space collector minifig on the way as well. So maybe we need to have like a space area set up somewhere. And then we're into Duplo, Disney and kids stuff. I always get yelled at for getting the cars because I'm not really into them, but I know that is the new car today, the Lamborghini Huracan. So that is in here as well. I don't think they've got one of those made up. They've got that one, which I think was last month's new car. But that is, they've got plenty of them. They don't seem to be rushing off the shelves. And that is the new gift of purchase, all made up, which is, that's actually for the first two weeks of the month, according to that sign. So that's until the 14th of April on spend of over 135 pounds. So as you can see, before I filmed that bit, I already went in and got the main sets and have left Anna guarding them. So we've got D&D &D and Batman in there. We'll do a proper car haul when we get back to the car. And um, we are going to be heading down to the Lego Discovery Center as well. So we'll go there and see if they've got any goodies. But now it's Anna's turn to go and grab some stuff. She wasn't really interested in any of today's new releases, but I can't spend all that money on Lego and not get anything for Anna. I'm not a monster. So we have now come over to the other side of Birmingham to find the Lego Discovery Centre, which we've not been to this for probably about 10 years. 
I couldn't remember quite where it was. We've just come out of the car park. There was something of a clue waiting for us. I think that enormous Lego giraffe is trying to tell us something. Time for a selfie. That thing is great. Look at the size of him. He is enormous. Love him. I want to take him home with me. And then here we have the Legoland Discovery Centre. So that's access to the attraction. And down here, we have access to the shop. Now, filming might be more of a challenge in here than it was in the Lego store because it is a bank holiday and it is a kid's attraction. So we'll do as much as we can. So they have a wall in here labelled hard to find. Um, the Jazz Quartet. I guess we've not seen that. Um, the rest of it, though, is pretty easy to find, to be honest. Well, they have got the Pac-Mat one in stock, which is cool. It's certainly not anywhere near as big as the Manchester one. Although, that being said, it does look like it goes back a long way. Anna has found me Lego Batman. Are they erasers? They are erasers. Lots of Star Wars stuff on this wall. And then lots of Harry Potter stuff on this side. I doubt they're gonna to have today's new releases in here because they're Lego Insider exclusives for the next couple of days. And this store is owned by Merlin rather than Lego. It's a, basically a gift shop for the attraction next door. So they don't do Insider points in here, which I, mean, I would suggest means they don't get the new stuff for a couple more days. They do have a nice big pick-a-brick wall though which we are on the lookout for parts for the Lego City, as always. No, we need square-sided ones, really. We're looking for um, tiles, because we need tiles for the corners for the trains, for them to just basically rest on. But it doesn't look like they've got any. They have got some masonry bricks. No. Windows are always handy. Yeah, it looks like we're maybe giving Pick a Brick a, mix, a miss today, although they have got some grey brick down the bottom. We might get a box of grey brick, or maybe even a cup if in Manchester it was still Pick a Brick cups in the Discovery Centre. There's the Marvel section. I've not noticed loads of stuff yet that you can't just get anywhere else. I don't think this is the treasure trove that we got in the Manchester one. Go back and watch the Manchester video from recently if you want to see a real Lego Discovery Centre treasure chest. They are on the boxes here rather than the cups like they had in the Manchester one. Uh, but we've got the Lego City space stuff. In fact, I think that the Science Lab is new today, so they have got some of the new release stuff. I wonder if they'll have the Batman or the Dungeons and Dragons sets in here. They've got all the Mario stuff, including presumably the new today Mario stuff. And again, I'm not entirely sure which stuff is the new today. And they've got all of the Animal Crossing sets in here as well, which the Lego store, I've still never seen that set in a Lego store. So that's in here. We have, we have Ninjago and then some more Lego City here. And then more Lego City. We've got Duplo up there. What I've not seen yet are the Legoland exclusive sets. So maybe they've not got them in here. They have got that hot dog truck, which looks amazing. If I can find a hot dog truck somewhere. In fact, there it is. I think I've got to get myself a hot dog truck for my uh, street food area in the Lego City because it's, it's shaped like a hot dog. It's great. I've got loads of road at home. Uh, more of the space stuff. That one is definitely new today as well. So they have got some of the new stuff, just not the big adults exclusive stuff, which makes sense because the attraction you're not allowed to go into as an adult unless you've got kids with you. So it is very much a kid's attraction. Lots of the creator three-in-one sets, which are great at the moment. I've got four of them at home that I'm using for a couple of different mods. And I've got one of those as well. Anna is sorting me out with a Lego coin, I think. I do like a collectible coin, so I'm leaving Anna. Anna's in charge of coins. I've got my giraffe there. Oh, see, they've got him on a base here. That base is quite cool. I might make a base for mine, because he does, he is a bit wobbly-legged, like a baby giraffe. I do like a coin. Ah, they do have one of them. They do have a couple of Lego Land sets here. So I didn't get Mythica last time. So we're going to have one of those. I wanted to pick up the ones I didn't get last time. Is that the Ninjago one as well? 
It is. So these are the ones I missed out on in Manchester. So some purchases have been made. I'll show you what we got when we get back to the car. A um, couple of corrections. Uh, they did have the Batman and the D&D sets that came out today behind the till in there. So literally all of today's new releases were available in there. I was also wrong about the Insiders Points thing because they did have Insiders Points at this one. So it looks like it's kind of luck of the draw with the Legoland Discovery Centre, whether they've had the makeover yet because at the one in Manchester, it was old style, cheaper pick a brick in cups series 24 minifigs no insider points whereas here they had all the brand new releases it was a series 25 minifigs it was the new style pick a brick with the boxes and the insider points so it seems it's being made up as they go along and i've also got me some collectible coins so little legoland coins this one has got a little wizard fella on and then she also got me the uh a smashed up penny one i do like a collectible coin so that was definitely a bonus in there right our plan now is to get back to the car get away from all of the kids and show you everything we've bought across these two stores it has been a day the uh, the haul is coming but first we're at ed's easy diner to refuel we had to get up early to be queuing up outside that lego store today So back in the car, it's a four bag haul. That's when you know it's been a good day. This is our last hurrah for buying. They go like crazy people. The tax year ends any day now. And uh, yeah, this is it. We're gonna have to buy like normal adults from now on. It's very sad, but that didn't stop us today. I can't even get this one out of the bag. So bag one, oh, bag one is the Dungeons and Dragons set, complete with Dungeons and Dragons gift with purchase, which is down in the bag. And then bag two is the set I wanted most of all today. The Batman set. They're both for me. And then for some reason, Anna felt like she needed to get some. I don't really know why. <laughs> so Anna got something that's not even a new release that she's had her eye on for a little while. The Hocus Pocus set which the camera just cannot pick up. We need a new way to do these. Yeah, this this is a, mad. This has a light in it. Or we maybe need to stop buying massive sets in the shop. Just Because we put them through separately as well, as different transactions, because we uh, we did the new release stuff and then went back round. Um, we got a gift with purchase, the trellis thing. We got one of them with each of them. So we got two of those from the Lego store which I will be having one of them. And then we have the Lego Discovery Center haul, which is a little bit more manageable to show you on camera. So we got my, oh no, that's Anna's, that's Anna's. I don't remember you picking that up, a three in one owl set, which I don't even remember you grabbing that. We did get another gift with purchase in there. So it's, we're up to three of these now. We do like to collect a gift with purchase apparently. Yeah, but these are super cute. They are cool. I got, or oh, Anna picked up a Legoland exclusive magnet. And then I got both packs of the pre-built Legoland minifigs. There was a builder minifig station in there, but it was surrounded by kids. So I had a look through all the pre-built ones. There was just these two different packs. So I just figured let's get some Legoland characters. Oh, I like that one. We're going to have a Legoland area in the city. So it's cool to have the Legoland characters. Um, I also got the remaining two Legoland exclusive sets. I don't know who I was kidding up in Manchester pretending that I wouldn't want all of them. So I got the two that I wasn't even sure what they are. Um, so Mythica, I think, is a ride at Legoland. We don't really use the rides when we go, so I don't know, but we have Mythica. I'm just gonna keep passing these across to you. I think it's near the Viking, you know, the water. Yeah. I think it's near there somewhere. And then we also got the Ninjago area as well, despite never having gone in it when we've been at Legoland. We've been to Legoland so many times, <laughs> never even been in the Ninjago area, never bought a Ninjago set, but we do have a Ninjago area for our own Legoland area that's gonna be in the Lego City. Oh, it moves. It does. And then I also got a, uh, my first Lego Friends set, I think this is, um, but it's for the, I'm doing like a street food area in the Lego City. Um, we've got the burger van, we've got a couple of other things as well. And I just figured a hot dog van shaped like a hot dog will go really nicely next to the burger van shaped like a burger. And we might have a whole area of street food, but the thing is shaped like the thing that they sell. And that just amuses me. Yeah, but that could be a hot dog that sells ice cream. It could, shaped but it's like not. Hot it's a hot dog that sells hot dogs. And then I've got two packs of pick a brick because they had 
grey brick, which we've not seen anywhere. Need these for the walls in the city. So we've got some one by three and one by eight, I want to say. Grey brick. Throws them on the floor. Constantly. Yeah, I am bad at pick a brick, but that was a good selection there. Better assortment in the Discovery Centre than there was in the Lego store, although it was the new more expensive price and the boxes rather than the, rather than the cups. So very different experience to Legoland Discovery Center in Manchester. Like I think we mentioned while we were in there, if you're looking for like the treasure trove of the really rare, hard to find stuff, it looks like that is Manchester only. There's only two Legoland Discovery Centers in the UK, Birmingham and Manchester. That one was very much like a Lego store, the one here in Birmingham. Mm. There wasn't really, they, even with the hard to find area, there wasn't really anything that we haven't seen in Lego stores or Smiths or wherever else. Um, apart from the Legoland exclusive stuff, so you can still pick that up in there, although there's much less of it than there was in Manchester. Um, but Manchester, like I say, if you're ever in the area, you've got to check the Trafford Centre Discovery Centre because it is absolutely full of goodies. So I guess to complete the set, we now need to actually make this year's trip to Legoland in the near future and see if they've got any different exclusives there. That would be quite we nice, wouldn't it? We go to Legoland every year. We're going to pay yeah, we're to get We're never allowed anyway. to look in the store when we're with somebody. Um, we won't mention that. Well, we need to mention names because there's lots of new viewers. Andy. Um, yeah. Andy's we'll, not a shopper. We'll go without him, though. We'll do one trip with him for his annual trip, and we'll do a trip on our own <laughs> so, so we can properly do this. He goes every year. We take him to Legoland. We've taken him to Legoland every year for like eight <laughs> years. We obviously will be going again. But that was our April the 1st, 2024 launch day Lego haul. I think that's been a very, very good day. Like I say, it's probably the last of the really big hauls you're going to see for us for a little while now. We talked a little bit about it in the Trafford Centre video. We know we've gone bonkers. We're not encouraging people to go bonkers, um, but we had very specific business reasons for going bonkers now, trying to buy all the sets that we wanted now, plus the new release stuff. And looking ahead at the schedule, we're not going to want the new releases in May because it'll all be Star Wars stuff. There's no other current sets really that we want that we haven't already got or have ordered. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to chill out and get to building now. Mm. That being said, we have got a trip planned in a couple of weeks. We're going to do all four London stores in a day. So anything can happen. If you've enjoyed Jesus. that video, folks, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it for us. Subscribe to the channel for loads more Lego content, new Lego city update coming tomorrow. And thank you very much for watching.